Below are 20 conditions that can make one nose bleed. 1. Infection of sinuses. Human beings have sinuses, namely maxillary which is commonly affected, ethmoid, frontal and sphenoid. Each is lined with respiratory epithelium which produces mucus, and then it is transported into the nasal cavity. When there is obstruction of outflow, accumulation can result in infection caused by bacteria, virus or fungal. This results in the inflammation of the sinuses. It can be acute if it is less than 4 weeks or chronic if it has lasted more than 12 weeks. Sinusitis is characterized by a cold, nasal drainage, congestion, facial pain and headache. 2. Dilations of blood vessels. In most cases dilation of blood vessels is of unknown causes. Some conditions have been linked to dilation of blood vessels, for example, it can be hereditary, cirrhosis, pregnancy, radiation, lupus and hypertension. Major symptom of this condition is recurrent nose bleeding and gastrointestinal bleeding, which is evident with, vomiting of blood, dark tarry stool or blood-stained stool. 3. Increased hemoglobin levels above normal. This is typical increase in the red blood cells. It is very common in people living in high altitude, smoking history, congenital heart disease or chronic lung disease. Most people don't realize they have increased red blood cells since it's asymptomatic. Sometimes symptoms suggesting hyperviscosity and thrombosis can occur. This can manifest as headache, visual disturbances, gastrointestinal bleeding, nose bleeding, easy bruising and hypertension. Sometimes it occurs due to decreased plasma volume, or physiological adaptation of body tissue from decreased oxygen level, or abnormal overproduction of red blood cells in the body in cases of tumors. 4. Bleeding Disorders Our blood is made up of cells and one of them is platelets. It is involved in blood clotting. In cases of defects of platelets, blood clotting is disrupted. This results in a bleeding disorder. 5. Superior vena cava syndrome. I believe we are all familiar with the anatomy of the heart. A superior vena cava obstruction, with severe reduction of venous return from head, neck and upper extremities is called superior vena cava syndrome. Obstruction can be due to tumor. Apart from nose bleeding, patients also present with face and neck swelling, shortness of breath, swelling of tongue, cough or even coughing of blood and difficult swallowing. This symptoms mostly worsens with bending forward. 6. Nasopharynx cancer. Behind our nose, there is a part called nasopharynx. Most cancers in the head and neck region are caused by alcohol and tobacco. Other factors such as virus and low consumption of fruits and vegetables can lead to development of cancers. Most people do not realize they have nasopharynx cancer, since at early stage, it is asymptomatic. In some cases, symptoms such as nasal obstruction, unilateral infection of middle ear can occur. In advanced stage neuropathies can occur. 7. Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, a malignancy of lymphoplasmacytoid cells, a cell involved in production of antibodies, to be specific IgM antibodies, it mostly affects men, it is characterized with recurrent infection, visual problem, general body weakness, headache and dizziness. 8. Disorder of connectives tissue matrix. Remember our blood vessels are made of connectives tissue, so, a disorder of connectives tissue means, a disorder of blood vessels walls. This can result in abnormal dilatations of the blood vessels. It's mostly a hereditary condition. This condition results in episodes of nose bleeding that begins at age 12. 9. Side effects of anticoagulants. Some conditions such as development of clot in blood vessels result in use of anticoagulants. For example warfarin. Like most drugs it also has some side effects. This medications can result in mild bleeding such as nose bleeding to severe bleeding such as gastrointestinal bleeding and intracranial bleeding. 10. Typhoid. Fever. A disease characterized by fever and abdominal pains. It is food or waterborne disease. Mostly found in developing countries. It presents itself with many signs and symptoms and one of them is nose bleeding. 11. Lepromatous leprosy. A condition characterized by skin nodules, loss of eyebrows, loss of eyelashes and dry scaly skin mostly found in Mexico and Caribbeans. This condition can cause complication to the nose, resulting in nasal congestion and nose bleeding. 12. Relapsing fever. Infection caused by several species of Borrelia spirochete. They are tick-borne. It presents itself as sudden onset of fever. Other signs can be headache, nausea, neck stiffness, nose bleeding and many others. 13. Chikungunya virus disease. A disease in Africa, specifically in the rural, it presents a sudden onset of fever, chills and joint pains. Sometimes rash can develop on trunk region and limb. Some patients can even develop leukemia. Major vector is mosquito and travelers. It mostly has a dramatic clinical presentation. 14. Ebola virus infection. 
Infection caused by filoviruses, transmitted human to human through direct or a dead mammal. Outbreak mostly occurs in West Africa. This condition presents itself with so many signs and symptoms. Most common hemorrhagic manifestation can range from nose bleeding, vomiting of blood, pooping of blood to urination of blood. 15. Leishmaniasis, caused by a protozoa of genus Leishmania, affecting tropical region, mostly developing countries. It causes sudden fever and chills. Infection of skin causes ulceration. It is transmitted by sand fly. Since it affects organs involved in blood cell formation, decreased in platelets results in bleeding disorder. 16. Inhalation of toxic chemicals. For example chloride, sulfur dioxide and bromine. Mostly for people working bleaching, textile, rubber or plastic industries, or manufacturer of sulfuric acids. This chemical can cause acute to chronic effect on the nasal cavity. 17. Inflammation of cartilage. Some part of our nose is made of bone and some made of cartilage. Inflammation can occur, mostly due to unknown causes. It might result in nasal stiffness, discharge and even nose bleeding. 18. Intranasal testosterone. Men with androgen deficiency might opt to use clinical medication to restore testosterone levels. There are many available forms of medication and one of these is intranasal testosterone. It has some mild side effects for example nasal irritation and nose bleeding. 19. Tumors or polyps of the nasal cavity. 20. Let's not forget the most common cause of nose bleeding, trauma. Thanks so much for watching this video, like share and subscribe.